Have you ever wondered about the best way to send money, especially when you need it there fast, sending it internationally, or moving large amounts? Well, you're not alone. Today, we're going to talk about ACH transfers and wire transfers, two common methods that might sound similar, but actually have some pretty important differences. So then, let's start with what exactly an ACH transfer is. ACH stands for Automated Clearinghouse, and it's a way to move money between banks without using paper checks, wire transfers, or cash. Imagine you're paying your electricity bill online or receiving your paycheck through direct deposit. Those are both examples of ACH transfers. They're processed in batches by a network of banks and financial institutions, which means they can take a few days to complete. One of the best parts about ACH transfers is their cost, or more accurately, the lack of it. They're usually free or have very low fees. And next, let's talk about wire transfers. These are a bit different. When you need to send money quickly and securely, especially across international borders, a wire transfer is often the way to go. Unlike ACH transfers, which are processed in batches, wire transfers are sent from one bank to another almost immediately. And this speed and the ability to send funds globally make wire transfers a preferred method for urgent transactions. However, they come with a higher price tag compared to ACH transfers, and sometimes the fees can be pretty steep depending on where you're sending money. Now, you might be asking, how do I choose which one to use? Well, it really depends on your needs. If you're not in a rush and you're sending money domestically, an ACH transfer could be the better option because of the lower costs. On the other hand, if you need to send money fast or to someone overseas, a wire transfer might be worth the extra fees. Also, it's important to consider the security aspects of both methods. Generally, both ACH and wire transfers are safe. However, because wire transfers are usually irreversible, it's crucial to double-check the recipient's details before sending money. There's little room for error, and getting funds back from a mistaken transfer can be a real hassle, if not impossible. Speaking of which, let's touch on the impact of these transfers on your bank account. With ACH, since the funds are moved in batches and the process takes a bit longer, you might not see your money leave your account immediately. This can be a little misleading if you're not keeping track. With wire transfers, the money typically leaves your account right away, so you see the change in your balance immediately, which can help in managing your finances better. And next, did you know that even businesses prefer different methods depending on their operations? For example, many businesses use ACH transfers for payroll because it's efficient and cost-effective to process large volumes of payments. In contrast, they might use wire transfers for paying a high-value invoice from an overseas supplier due to the speed and security involved. So then, how do you set up one of these transfers? Setting up an ACH transfer can often be done entirely online. And once you've set it up for recurring payments, like your rent or mortgage, it's pretty much set it and forget it. Wire transfers, however, might require you to visit your bank, although many banks these days allow you to do it online or via their mobile app. Regardless, you'll need to have some specific information, like the recipient's bank account number, their bank SWIFT or IBAN, and routing number. So then, how about the limitations? Well, ACH has a limit on how much you can send per transaction, which varies by bank. This might be a consideration if you need to move a large amount of money. Wire transfers typically don't have these limits, so they can be a better option for large transactions. Also, it's worth noting that the timing of both types of transfers can be influenced by holidays and weekends. ACH transfers, for example, only process on business days, so if you initiate a transfer on Friday, it might not go through until the next Monday or even Tuesday. Wire transfers can sometimes be processed on weekends, depending on the banks involved. And next, let's not forget about international considerations. If you're sending money abroad, the choice might lean more decisively towards wire transfers, not just because of the speed, but also because ACH is primarily a domestic system. For international wires, you also need to be aware of exchange rates, which can significantly affect how much the recipient actually receives, depending on currency fluctuations. So there you have it. Whether you choose ACH or wire transfers depends largely on your specific needs, whether that's cost, speed, or international capabilities. Both have their place in your financial toolkit, and understanding the differences can save you time and money.